Scientists from the University of Pennsylvania say they have identified a protein at the root of baldness. It's called prostaglandin D, PGD2 for short. When they analysed the scalps of bald men, they found the levels of PGD2 to be three times higher in the bald areas of the head. As the amount of protein builds up around the hair follicle, it starts to shrink. So those big long hairs that you have become smaller and smaller and eventually become so small that they're microscopic and you can't see them. In other words, there's hair up there, you just can't see it. The challenge for the scientists now is to come up with a way of blocking the inhibiting effect of this protein or even of reversing it and getting hair to grow again. So the next step would be to, uh, to screen for compounds that, that affect this, this uh, receptor and try to reverse to also find out whether blocking that receptor actually reverses the, the balding or does it just prevent balding. The good news is several drug companies are already testing compounds that may work. And that hair stays growing forever. permanently. It's hair loss is big business. Disease. Americans spend five billion dollars a year on it. In this London clinic, they offer all kinds of solutions at all kinds of prices. So a cure to baldness, a real cure to baldness, is a sort of holy grail. Holy grail, absolutely. For, for, the, for the affected people. There are people who say, I don't care. But you know what? When they say, I don't care, they really care. I mean... With the existing treatments either expensive or, frankly, not very effective, millions of follically challenged worldwide will hope this latest discovery means a proper cure is just a hair's breadth away. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, London.